Welcome to our video about fungal infection. Fungal infection treatment. There are several options for fungal infection treatment. Some of them are antifungal drugs, corticosteroid creams, lemongrass, and medicated nail creams. While they are not ideal for every person, they do work for most people. If you're looking for a more natural way to get rid of your infection, try a homemade solution. Lemongrass is an excellent remedy for fungal infections. Corticosteroid creams can cause other side effects and may not be suitable for everyone. Antifungal drugs. The primary focus of antifungal drugs for fungal infection treatment is to inhibit the growth of the fungi by targeting their 1,3 beta glucan synthase enzymes. These enzymes do not exist in mammalian cells but are highly potent against fungi. However, there are numerous problems with these drugs, and the FDA has not yet approved any of them for industrialization. Antifungal drugs for fungal infection treatment are usually available in different formulations and have two primary effects. They kill fungal cells and prevent their growth. This is important because some fungi can cause very serious health problems. They can be used as topical creams and lotions or can be administered in the form of four medications. It is important to follow the instructions provided with antifungal drugs, which can vary depending on the type of fungal infection. Triazole-based antifungal drugs inhibit the synthesis of ergosterol, a component of the cellular membrane of fungi. By disrupting this biosynthesis, the drugs cause damage to the fungus cell membrane, and in turn cause cell lysis or death. Triazoles, on the other hand, are fungistatic against congida species. Boriconazole demonstrates fungicidal activity against aspergillus species. Corticosteroid creams. Topical corticosteroid creams for fungal infections are used in the treatment of a variety of skin conditions, including diaper dermatitis. Low or medium potency creams are applied to the affected area twice a day and tapered over a period of one to two weeks. Dermatologists at Johns Hopkins University and Chicote M. Wheat have declared no conflict of interest with this topical steroid cream. A topical antifungal cream containing betamethasone is also a common treatment for fungus infections. These creams work by killing the fungus on the skin, while the corticosteroid helps to reduce the inflammation and pain caused by the infection. You can find these creams only by obtaining a doctor's prescription. Also, consider subscribing to free health information newsletters from the Mayo Clinic. Although topical corticosteroid creams are generally well-regulated, their use in cosmetic products remains unregulated in some countries. As a result, some cosmetic products contain illegal amounts of steroids. This has resulted in numerous reports of steroid-dependent periorificial dermatitis and rosacea. The New Zealand Department of Health and Medical Research recommends that corticosteroid creams be used only in the most severe cases, as they may be ineffective. Lemongrass Lemongrass as a fungal infection treatment has many benefits. It has anti-inflammatory properties and acts as an antioxidant. Lemongrass essential oil has been used as a folk remedy to treat gastric ulcers and stomach aches. Lemongrass also calms the digestive system and relieves nausea and diarrhea. In addition, it has antibacterial and antifungal effects. Lemongrass essential oil can also prevent gastric ulcers. Although lemongrass is generally safe to ingest and use in food and beverages, it may have a number of side effects, so it's best to start with a small dose and monitor it closely. Because lemongrass is a potent herb, it's important to follow product directions. Always consult with a healthcare professional before using it topically. Do not ingest it unless you're under medical supervision. Aside from antibacterial and antifungal properties, lemongrass has many other uses. It reduces bacterial and fungal infections. Lemongrass also acts as an astringent, which means it constricts pores and limits the secretion of oils. This is good news for those suffering from ringworm and onychomycosis. Additionally, lemongrass has antifungal and antioxidant properties. Medicated nail creams. Medicated nail creams can be an effective solution for treating nail fungi. They are much less expensive than oral antifungal medications and work by killing the fungus on the surface of the nail. While they take a while to work, they are more effective than topical treatments. You can choose between three different types of antifungal creams, terbinafine, cyclopyrox, and clotrimazole. The only drawback is that these drugs are expensive and often not covered by insurance. 
Medicated nail creams for fungal infections are available over the counter and in the form of prescription medication. To use these creams, you must soak the affected nail first so that the cream can penetrate the nail and kill the fungus. For best results, you should apply several layers of creams to your affected nails over a week. You can wipe away any excess cream after each application. Some creams are more effective when applied to thin nails. If you notice pain, swelling, or other symptoms, medical treatment is recommended. In most cases, you will need to visit your doctor for a proper diagnosis and treatment. Medicated nail creams for fungal infection treatment may also be prescribed by your podiatrist or dermatologist. They are highly effective in treating the infection, but they have their own side effects. They are best used in combination with proper medical advice and regular nail care. Culture Test A fungal culture test can help your physician determine what type of fungus is causing your symptoms. Depending on where you have symptoms, a healthcare provider may take a skin scraping or collect cells and fluids from a cotton swab. If your symptoms are systemic, blood testing may be necessary. Either way, the results of the fungal culture test will help your physician determine the proper treatment for your infection. The fungus may take several weeks to grow in culture. It's best to do it at 25 to 30 degrees Celsius. To grow the fungus, the specimen is inoculated into Saberod's dextrose agar medium. A fungus culture may be performed after an antifungal treatment, and there are many advantages to this procedure. But you need to be careful, fungal culture results may not be accurate if the fungal species you're growing is a harmless fungus that resides in the skin. In addition to culture-based diagnosis, serologic tests have been a valuable tool in non-culture-based fungal infections. It is particularly useful for diagnosing endemic mycoses such as histoplasmosis. CF and enzyme immunoassay can detect antibodies to histoplasma H and M antigens and determine the titer of these antibodies. It also has other advantages, including a quick and simple procedure. Medications Medications for fungal infection treatment can be used to kill the fungi that cause infections. These medications are available over the counter or by prescription and should be started as soon as possible after you notice symptoms. Although these infections are typically not dangerous, some people may need a prescription if they have a weakened immune system. Some fungal infections are mild, while others can be severe and require medical treatment. There are many types of medications for fungal infection treatment. Oral antifungals are an effective way to treat an infection caused by fungi. These medicines attack the fungi cell walls and membranes, killing them completely. Some are oral, while others require a prescription. If you have been diagnosed with a serious fungal infection, your healthcare provider may prescribe a medicine that's more powerful. Some of the most popular oral fungus treatments are found to be safe and effective. These agents should be applied to the affected area and a few centimeters around the affected area. Systemic treatment for cutaneous fungal infections is also available, depending on the invading organism and site. Many different therapeutic options are available today, and most of them are safe and effective. In addition to oral antifungals, there are several topical treatments that have antifungal and antibacterial properties. Side Effects Some people have experienced side effects of fungal infection treatment. Although these infections are generally mild, they can be potentially life-threatening and can even lead to serious illnesses, such as sepsis. This infection may not have been life-threatening, but if left untreated, it can worsen and even lead to serious health conditions, including HIV and AIDS. Aside from the uncomfortable side effects of fungal infection treatment, there are other potential risks that should be considered. A fungal infection can cause a number of side effects, including skin redness, itchiness, and flaking. In addition to these, fungal infections can also affect the lungs, causing fever, chest pain, and muscle aches. The good news is that most fungal infections are easily prevented by taking the right precautions. People suffering from athletes' feet should avoid public baths, wear flip-flops, and practice good hygiene to avoid exposing their feet to contaminated environments. Fungal infections are caused by a variety of different types of fungi. Some types of fungi live in the top layers of the skin and other moist areas of the body. A fungal infection disrupts the balance of these fungi and causes an infection. While some cases of fungal infections cause irritation, more serious ones can cause swelling, blisters, and even a rash elsewhere on the body. Thank you for watching.
Please like, comment, and subscribe if this was any helpful.